Welcome everybody to the Crafty Creech. If you are new here, my name is Crystal and in this video I will be redoing a vintage, quite possibly antique knee hole desk. My husband and I were out yard sailing and we just so happened to come across this desk that was sitting on the side of the road with a little sign on it that said free to a good home. So naturally we picked it up and shoved it in the car. I had already sanded this down and gave it a good cleaning, but something I was really surprised about was to find that the drawers were solid wood. There was no veneer on them. It was just complete solid wood with this really beautiful inlay work inside of the drawer. On this piece, I am using a Kilts brand chalk paint in the color called Toasted Poppy Seed. It's almost like a charcoal gray. It's not like a true black. It has more of a charcoal hue to it, more a little bit more like a super dark gray. I like to use a mister bottle when I am working with my chalk paint as this helps minimize brush strokes and thins everything down, makes it a little bit easier to spread. This paint covered pretty well. I think I did about two coats on it and it was pretty much covered. The top of this piece was leather and it had a lot of like imperfections in it. So I kind of wanted to minimize those. So I decided I would create a stencil. We live super close to Washington DC. So I wanted to do the Capitol building and uh, the words District of Columbia. So I literally sketched out my Capitol building picture that I wanted to cut out. I found some images on Google and I just kind of did everything by hand and I just kind of eyeballed it all and drew out my stencil. And then for my letters, I went to blackposter.com and I put in a JPEG file of some letters I liked. I printed that out to the size that I wanted and then I used a transfer method where you take a pencil and you rub on the back side of the piece of paper. Then you put your letter on top of, I'm using poster board. You put your letter on top of the poster board and then you trace over the letter and then it will draw out your letter you want. And then I take an X-Acto blade and I cut everything out on top of a cutting mat so I'm not to damage anything. If you guys would like a more detailed tutorial on how I do all of this, I would be more than happy to create a video. So just let me know down in the comments if that is something you're interested in. After I figured out the placement of my stencil, I taped everything down with some painter's tape. Then I took, took a mixture of this toasted poppy seed colored and some white just to kind of make a lighter gray. So it's not too bright and it's not too dull. I just wanted something that kind of stood out but kind of blended at the same time. I put it on my sponge and I just kind of dabbed everything. And I've done this a million times, creating my own stencils with the poster board and they work really good. They turn out really nice. I really like the fact that I'm able to do this without one of those Cricut machines, they're definitely a lot of work to make them, but if I want something really specific, I'm able to do it with just using poster board and an X-Acto blade. I used a Rust-Oleum brand chalky sealant. It's matte 
finish. I'm not really super happy with it. I might end up going over and using something else more durable like a lacquer because I feel like I don't know if this is going to be durable enough. But that's it, you guys. It was a super easy, simple project. I um, added some new cup pulls and that was it. Super easy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Please remember to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Bye.